हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय सिल्पर एग्जाम्पुलकर इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हाउस इन डिफरेंट कंट्रोल स्ट्रक्चर्स इन अपेक्स प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हाउस इन देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ कंट्रोल स्ट्रक्चर सिक्वेंस स्ट्रक्चर सिलेक्शन स्ट्रक्चर एंड लूप स्ट्रक्चर इन दिस वीडियो विल फोकस ऑन सिलेक्शन स्ट्रक्चर सो सी इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हाउस इन दिस फ्लो चार्ट राइट सो इन सिलेक्शन स्ट्रक्चर फ्रॉम द नेम ओनली विल कम टू नो we are selecting something right now see so control structure which select some set of action that is called as selection structure for example see we have one condition if condition is true then we are executing this action right we are executing this set of statements if condition is false then we are executing this set of statements right so based on what is the output of this condition we are choosing set of actions we are selecting set of action and that's why it is called as selection structure now see in apex programming language it is implemented by simple if if else nested if and else if ladder in this flow chart we have seen there are only two outputs say right? true or false but instead of this condition if suppose we have some expression so there can be multiple outputs right so based on that see if there is any expression so there can be multiple outputs for example see a b c something like this right so if output is a then we are executing this set of statements if output is b then we are executing this set of statements if output is c then we are executing these statements right so here there are multiple outputs right so sir selection structure is implemented by switch when so in next video we'll see how to write code by using switch when in apex programming language In this video, we will see how selection structure is implemented by using this simple if, if else, nested if, and else if ladder. We'll go to login. dot salesforce. dot com. Here we'll enter our username, password, login. Remind me later. Then here we'll choose developer console. Now see here from debug, we'll choose this option. Open execute anonymous window. We'll click on it. Now see here we'll write our code. Now see our first thing is simple if, right? What do we mean by simple if? If if block without any else block. That is called as simple if. One simple example I will give. See, I am taking one number, integer num, and suppose I am allocating number forty, right? Now see. If that is keyword in round bracket, I am writing one condition. If num is greater than is equal to zero, so then we will print one message. System dot debug. So here in single quote, what message we will put? Number is zero or positive. Right? Number is zero or any positive number. Right? Now see, we will run our code. So see, here we got the message: number is zero or positive, right? Instead of forty, suppose we have minus forty. Now see, here we are not putting any message to show it is negative number, right? So see, if you run this, debug only. So we are not getting anything, right? Because here we are checking condition. If number is greater than is equal to zero, then it is zero or positive number. But for negative number, we are not showing any message. Here we are checking this condition. If this condition is true, then we are putting one message that number is zero or positive. But if this condition is false, here number is minus forty, and because of that, this condition is false, right? And for that purpose, here we are not putting any message, right? So to overcome that, we have if else. Now see same thing. What we'll do? Here, in else part, we'll put one more message. System dot debug in single quote will mention number is negative. Right now, see again we'll run our code. Debug only. So see here we got number is negative. Right. So because of if else. We have managed this, right? So when condition is true, so we are showing this message, or we are executing these statements. If condition is false, 
in that case we are executing these statements right so this is our if else now what do my nested if so from the name only we will come to know when there is e block inside the another e block that is called a nested if see in our same example instead of minus 40 what we will do we will make it 41 and let us see and here what we will do we will check this condition if this 41 is divisible by 2 then it is even positive number if this 41 is not divisible by 2 that means it is odd positive number now see here we will check here to find out modulus we have to take help of math class so see math is class dot and mod here you can see mod so what we will do our num this is number and we will divide it we will find out modulus with 2 right if it is 0 that means number is even positive now see if this condition is false that means else part will get run right else so here we will put another message if this condition is false then this number is odd positive odd positive right see here we are checking first condition whether it is greater than equal to 0 yes it is greater than equal to 0 right now see that means this part will get executed now see inside this again there is one condition we are taking modulus with 2 and if it is equal to 0 that means this number is even positive if this condition is false that means if this number is not divisible by 2 then else part right then number is odd positive right so see for 41 else part should get run right we will run our code debug only so see here we got number is odd positive right as it is 41 number is odd positive right so in this way we can implement nested if now see last is else if ladder so see when there are multiple conditions so it is implemented by else if ladder see we will take one example so see what we will do we will remove everything we will take one number suppose we have score is equal to suppose 45 percent right now see we will check if this score is greater than is equal to 75 then it is distinction right so we will put one message system dot debug in single quote we will put message distinction right now see if this condition is false then else part right but again we want to check condition so what we'll do again we'll check whether the score is greater than is equal to 60 in that case our output should be first class right so here instead of distinction what we'll do first class right again again we will add one condition else if this condition is also false then again we will check another condition so else if if the score greater than is equal to 50 right so one message will print that is second class and suppose this condition is also false so what will do one last message will put that that person is fail right so we will print message fail so here we will put message fail now see suppose instead of 45 what we will do we will uh, keep 55 so first condition is what score we are checking score greater than equal to 75 so condition is false right then again we are checking condition whether score is greater than equal to 60 no condition is again false again we are checking condition score is greater than equal to 50 yes condition is true so we should get output second class right we will run our code let us see debug only so see we got output second class right so this is called else if ladder so see here we have multiple condition if this condition is true then this block will get run if this condition is false so again along with this else again we are checking one condition if this condition is true then this block will get run 
if this condition is false then again we have one more block and there again we have one more condition right if this condition is false then again we have last block else block right this is called as else if ladder so in this way by using simple if if else nested if else if ladder selection structure is implemented in apex programming language in next video we will see how to implement switch when so friends i hope you like this video if else then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you